welcome back to Top Investor. For 11 years, it was relatively smooth sailing for investors. Following the March 2009 stock market bottom, all three major US indexes ended up at least quadrupling in value, if not delivering even more robust returns. Then the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic came along and disrupted the economy, labor force, and stock market like we'd ever seen before. Exchange traded funds or ETFs are a popular option for investors looking to grow their money with both short and long term horizons. ETFs allow you to buy and sell funds like a stock on popular stock exchange. This is different from traditional mutual funds which only allow you to trade at the end of a business day. The ETF combination of instant diversification and quick liquidity is good reason to consider them as first investment or part of a veteran portfolio. Today we're going to be talking about the 8 best ETFs to invest in. Make sure you stay into number one as you don't want to miss what the best ETF to invest in is now. Number eight, First Trust NASDAQ Cybersecurity ETF. The allure of cybersecurity stocks is simple to understand. No matter how well or poorly the US economy is performing, hackers and robots attempting to illegally access company information don't take time off. This means in-house network and remote cloud protection have become a basic need service. And with the coronavirus pandemic pushing workers into a remote environment, cloud protection has taken on even more importance. Though growth estimates will vary, Grandview Research estimates that the global cybersecurity market will grow 10% annually between 2020 and 27, ultimately reaching the $326.4 billion mark. In other words, cybersecurity is a double-digit growth opportunity with high margins and relatively predictable cash flow, given that it's a basic Need service. Though an annual net expanse of 0.6% may be unappetizing to some ETF investors, don't let it scare you. The ETF's roughly 1.4% yield will more than cover First Trust NASDAQ Cybersecurity's annual management expenses, and you'll be gaining instant access to some of the fastest growing and most innovative cybersecurities on the planet. For example, identity security company Okta is currently First Trust NASDAQ Cybersecurity's fourth largest holding, 5.89% of invested assets as of August 7, 2020. Okta has a suite of identity protection solutions that allow enterprises to add on new products as they grow. This is a big reason behind Okta's 20% plus annual growth rate. Now, imagine an ETF packed with high security growth. Artificial intelligence focused security companies like Okta and mature money makers like Cisco Systems. That's the First Trust NASDAQ Security ETF for you. Number 7. SPDR S&P 500 ETF Elegantly simple, this iconic fund is one of the best ETFs for 2020 because it's one of the easiest and most cost-effective ways to tap into the US stock market. Benchmarked to the 500 largest publicly traded US corporations that make up the S&P 500, this ETF rounds up top names from all corners of the American economy, including tech like Apple, banks like JP Morgan Chase & Co, and healthcare companies like Johnson & Johnson. With this fund's nearly $300 billion in total assets and a trading history that dates back to 1993, investors are hard-pressed to find an ETF that is more established than the SPY. Number 6. Vanguard S&P 500 ETF One of the best overall ETF comes from the largest mutual fund company, Vanguard. This ETF tracks the S&P 500 and charges an expense ratio of just 0.03%. Warren Buffett himself has even recommended Vanguard's S&P 500 index fund by name. Buying into this fund gives you exposure to 500 of the biggest public companies in the United States. That offer you lots of diversity with some degree of safety net as all investments are focused in the US. Historically, the S&P 500, which in some ways is a proxy for the overall United States economy, returns about 10% per year over a long horizon. While past performance is not a guarantee of future performance and the market can go down at any time, if you have a long horizon, this index fund is a great choice. Number 5. Fidelity Zero Total Market Index Fund While this ETF does not have a long history, the large blend fund changes no fees and minimum. If you want to invest an ETF for free, this is one of the first no-fee ETFs made available. That is a very exciting development for individual investors. There is no minimum to invest to get started, which, like all ETFs, makes it for an enticing option for both retirement accounts and brand new investors alike. The index focuses on the total return of the United States stock market, making it even more diverse than the S&P 500 fund. The best proxy for comparison of past performance is the Fidelity Total Market Index Fund. This fund offers near identical performance to the Dow Jones US Total Stock Market Index and over the last 10 years monetarily outperformed the large blend category. Number 4. iShares Russell 2000 ETF 
The Russell 2000 is an index that tracks 2,000 small cap stocks. It is made up of the smallest 2,000 of the Russell 3000 index measured by market capitalization. This index is another great way to track the US stock market as a whole, but with a focus on the smaller companies in the public markets instead of the biggest. IWM charges a 0.19% expense ratio, which is lower than many mutual funds, but a long way from the bottom of the ETF industry. But compared to an S&P 500 fund, managers of the iShares Russell 2000 ETF have four times as many stocks to buy and sell to keep the index fund in line with the index. Some investors argue that smaller stocks have more room to grow than bigger stocks, while contrains would argue that smaller stocks are riskier and more volatile. But if you want to buy a big swath of US companies with one click, IWM is a popular way to do it. Number 3. Van Eck Vectors Junior Gold Miners ETF Despite a volatile year for equities, gold has been marching high almost uninterrupted since the year began. Since physical gold offers no yield, example pays no dividend, plummeting global bond yields have made it more attractive than ever for investors to choose gold as a preferred store of wealth. Also, as the money supply rapidly grows from Fed's quantitative easy activity, the US dollar has come under immense pressure. Since the dollar and gold have inverse relationship, this is a formula for record strength in gold. But make no mistake about it, you don't want to own physical gold. Rather, you want the leverage and potential dividends associated with mining stocks. Junior gold miners and junior silver miners, which are also included in this ETF, are expected to see the biggest surge in operating cash margins over the next couple of years. When coupled with improved operating efficiency and production, we could see small cap and mid-tier gold and silver producers skyrocket in value. The Van Eck Vectors Gold Miners ETF is a lustrous ad for your portfolio. Number 2. Global X Cloud Computing ETF Though debatable, one of the more unstoppable industries in the years or decades to come will be cloud computing. As businesses continue to move beyond their static office spaces and towards an environment where data can be accessed anywhere by employers, the need for software, platform and infrastructure as service is only going to grow. That's why the Global X Computing ETF should be on your to-buy list. As you might imagine, the Global X Cloud Computing ETF is going to give investors an opportunity to be on the cutting edge of cloud technology innovation, all without having to be an expert on the various layers of cloud services. It currently holds 36 different stocks, only two of which are a weighting of more than 5%. This means you're getting a pretty even kill of opportunity with everything from established infrastructure plays like Amazon to software as a service kingpin Shopify in the mix. To be clear, this isn't a value ETF. You're buying it to take advantage of the aggressive growth in cloud services that will likely be accelerated by the COVID-19 pandemic. That means you'll need to put up with high trailing price e-commerce rating ratios, as well as an expense ratio of 0.68%, which isn't exactly low. But the payoff could be immersed if cloud computing continues to grow by a hearty double-digit percentage for the foreseeable future. Number 1. Vanguard Information Technology ETF Now, we come to the exciting part of the US market information technology. Technology is a big growth engine for the US economy, and the stocks in this segment reflect optimism for higher returns. We accomplish this allocation with the Vanguard Information Technology ETF. Technology is the alchemy of the market. Where the products come from silicon or the either in the minds of software developers, profits can be achieved in momentous amounts. But not all big ideas work, and there are always brand new products and service making for volatile markets. So while investors need exposure, it should be done as part of a broader portfolio. The technology market has been good one, and VGT has earned 195.1% over the past five years. That outpaces the S&P 500 two and a half times. Thanks for watching. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos and make sure to hit that subscribe button to continue on your path to top investor status. See you there.